Welcome everyone to the virtual career information session hosted by Fidelity Investments. We want to again open by extending a very special thank you to all of you for making some time to join in what has been a very hectic and different year, I think, for everyone, given the unique challenges and changes everyone's experiencing to the working environments. Today, as we share some information about the organization, our core values, the work culture that we support, we hope that you also hear our message that here at Fidelity, we are committed to safeguarding the health and well-being of our associates, as well as potential candidates. A couple of housekeeping items before we begin. If you do have questions, as I mentioned, there is the Q&A feature down there at the bottom. If you can submit those throughout the presentation, we will be doing our best to get to as many as possible. If there are some unique questions around current job applications or things that are a little bit more individually focused, we likely won't get to that during the presentation um, as we want most of that information to be relevant to everyone involved. So please pass those along and we will follow up as soon as we are able to. For today's presentation, I'll tell you a little bit about a couple different things, fidelity, career opportunities, some of the training benefits of working at the firm, and you'll also hear from a panel of our technologists. At Fidelity, we work every day to strengthen and secure our clients' financial well-being. Our goal is to provide and bring unparalleled value to the people and companies that we have the privilege to serve. We do this by delivering exceptional services and solutions wrapped within personalized experiences, all offered at a competitive price. I will introduce you quickly to our panel, and then you will hear from them a little bit later today. So myself, Wes McRae, nice to meet everyone virtually. I'm part of our talent acquisition team. We support pretty much every area uh, within Fidelity as far as office locations for the IT related roles. You will hear a little bit from Mr. Al Ryan, who is also part of our talent acquisition team specific to strategic sourcing initiatives. Does a little bit more when it comes to uh, externally reaching out to candidates and telling them about Fidelity and the many opportunities that we have. You will also hear from Rao Harkara, who is an SVP, Chapter Area Leader within Medicare and Defined Benefit Technology. We have Sergio Olivis, who is a Principal Software Engineer in Personal Investing. And then Soma Mishra, a Director and Squad Leader of our Core Brokerage Platform. A little bit about Fidelity for everybody. During the application process, you'll be sharing your resume with us. So here's a little bit more about Fidelity. As you can see, here are some of the highlights. We are also one of the most diversified financial companies in the world. We have a full range of products and solutions for individual investors, employers, institutions, and intermediaries. We employ more than 42,000 associates. Something really cool about us, we are privately held and there are many benefits to working for a privately held firm, including our ability to continue to hire and drive business forward, even in a unique year like 2020 has been for us. Because we do not have quarterly pressures of reporting to Wall Street, it gives us a little bit more opportunity to do things like innovate and invest where we see fit, retain our entrepreneurial spirit, and um, offer, offer diversity for our business opportunities as they arise to ensure the stability of our company, take a long-term view with a lot of our positioning on investments that we make, maintain a very strong benefits package. You'll hear a little bit more about that as well. And we truly take pride in being a privately held firm, as this is an attribute that we have always used to the advantage we have. Uh, we believe it's the best way to serve our clients. Some more in-depth look about some of the value of working at Fidelity. We wanted to highlight for everybody um, some of our community work and fostering a culture of diversity and inclusion, which is something that is super important to us. One way we do that is through some of our award-winning ERG groups, employee resource groups, and special interest groups. You can see a list of them located on the slide. Um, these groups are all self-organized by Fidelity employees who have common interests. They are open to all employees and have a commitment to foster professional and personal development. Some of them I'll highlight real quickly for you as you can read through. Aspire, which is our Latino and Black resource group for supporting leadership excellence. Enable, which creates a positive, inclusive workforce environment for employees of all abilities. Five, uh, networking and support group for military veterans. And we have a couple, WLG and then WITSIG, which is a women's leadership group helping women at Fidelity thrive and a women's in technology special interest group. Uh, Fidelity Young Professionals Network is another one listed on there. Keep it moving here a little bit. On this next slide, you should see as we move on. Sorry, oh, I think there was a video we just skipped over. I don't know if we could go back. 
Oh, I think we're going forward. There we go. Just a quick little hiccup there. The video is loading up. Here we go. With over 42,000 employees at Fidelity, uh, we've got two types of offices. What you'll see here highlighted the regional centers and offices, which are the darker uh, grain circles, and then investor centers, which are the lighter grain circles. The investor centers, branches that we have throughout the country for our customers uh, to go and talk directly with financial advisors, and the regional centers and offices are where many of our IT roles and HR roles are located. Our headquarters are in Boston. However, we have 10 other regional offices and more than 180 investor centers in the United States. Our global presence spans uh, to eight other countries as well across North America, Europe, Asia, and Australia. Today, as far as our locations, we'll focus a little bit more on Merrimack, uh, New Hampshire, Durham, North Carolina, and then Westlake, Texas, as that's where we are rapidly hiring technologies currently. We do have a slide here around safety. It was going to be popping up. Um, specific to just how this year has gone and questions that we typically get from a talent acquisition perspective, wanted to clear the air, uh, provide some information for everyone. So today, nearly 40,000 of our employees, which is pretty much everyone, uh, working remotely and lead the mission to for move forward and meet increased demand. Our teams were mobilized and ready to serve day one without interruption. Our immediate ongoing focus is for the health and safety of our associates, clients, and candidates. You will see a little bit different um, hiring process than what we traditionally have. Every interviews uh, are virtual at this point through Zoom. We do have fully remote onboarding at this time and enhanced benefits specific to this unique year, all designed to continuously support the safety and well being of our people. The recruitment team is here to provide as much support as we can um, throughout the hiring and onboarding process, and we definitely appreciate understanding and flexibility during this time. We will be going back to the office eventually. While we do not have a specific date um, that that is going to happen, we will plan that in a very gradual and strategic way when it's safe for all employees and associates to get back into the office. We will talk a little bit next up about our benefits. So I will not read through every single point here for you, but once again, as a private company, we've got a very, very intriguing benefits package to many people. Specific to some of the highlights, uh, when it comes to work life, we have family programs, home and travel, service recognition benefits. Specific to career, uh, career development, different training provided, performance management, and some advancement opportunities. Compensation, we have a very competitive uh, compensation package from base pay, annual bonus, other incentives such as our 7% 401k match and our 10% profit sharing plan. For health and wellness, we have uh, parental leave, full health insurance, dental coverage, and education and support benefits here at Fidelity. So as you can see, quite the range of benefits when uh, you partner with us. I mentioned a few of the locations that we were gonna highlight for everyone today. We put together a couple of slides that just highlight some of the extras you could say working at each location. Here for our Durham, North Carolina location, we've got 1.5 miles of walking trails, Starbucks and on-site cafeteria, walking stations, workstations where you can stand or walk um, on a treadmill, fitness and wellness centers, volleyball, basketball courts, ping pong tables. Our Westlake, Texas location, I believe we have up next. Got the Guru IT Bar, fitness and health wellness centers, walking trails there as well, a catch and release fishing pond, and 30 plus on site cattle. Next up, we have our Merrimack, New Hampshire location, multiple cafeterias, the Hovey, Guru Bar, fitness and health wellness centers, walking trails, dry cleaning service on site for those emergencies and Fishing and Spartan Pond. To reintroduce you really quick to some of our panelists, now that we have told you a little bit about us as a company, um, how it's, what it's like to work here, we are going to let you hear firsthand from some of the amazing, amazing leaders and associates that make Fidelity unique. First up to speak is one of the leaders who joined our organization as an individual contributor and is now leading one of Fidelity's newest customer solutions, Mr. Rao Harkara. Thank you, Wes. It's an honor to be here. Um, good morning, everybody. My name is Rao Harkara. I'm a senior vice president and a chapter leader for Defined Benefit on Medicare Technology. As Wes introduced me, I joined Fidelity in 1995. Yes, I'm getting old. Um, 
um, as a as a software engineer and grew to the ranks. Again, as Wes talked about more, Fidelity has multiple BUs. I got an opportunity to work in all of these business units and then here I am. And then I'm also a proud member as well as a leader of an Asian employee resource group in North Carolina. So there are multiple opportunities here. Um, you all know um, Fidelity is a financial services company. Yes, we are a financial services company. However, we're also a healthcare organization as well as most importantly, a technology organization. Yes, you heard it correct. We are a technology organization too. Um, at Fidelity, we are customer obsessed. Our goal is to help people live the lives they want. We invest $2.5 billion annually in game-changing technology platforms. And we create the technology that fuels our mission, again, to help people live the lives they want. Technology is in our DNA. It's an integral part of what we do every day. We are a female-led company with over 12,000 technologies and are always seeking the talent with a passion to help our customers. Our technologies change the rules directly impacting on how we deliver services to our customers. You could say we have a startup attitude without the risk. I mentioned to you that um, we are a healthcare organization. I just want to briefly give you two examples on where we help our customers um, to meet our to, to for our to go or to meet our mission statement. We offer healthcare benefit administration to our clients. One of the major worries our clients or employers have is offering the best healthcare plans to the employees. If you look in the industry, 60% of the employees, they are not confident of the plan they have chosen. That is 60%, which is very surprising. At Fidelity, we're investing heavily into this and we have, we have created a proprietary decision support tool based on artificial intelligence to help our customers to choose the right plan. Another example briefly on the, the startup attitude is Medicare. Medicare is a federal health, health insurance program that is created for individuals with 65 and older or with certain disabilities or medical conditions. There are multiple plans in each state and it is very complex to navigate. At Fidelity, we are building a brand new platform a digital platform with cloud native from ground up uh, to help our customers to select the right plan and then navigate through this complex process. We empower our associates to focus on new forward thinking ideas from big data to mobile to cloud. And our teams work in every time zone you can think of around the world. Um, and we use the latest video on social media technologies. Technology opportunities are humongous. They start from Java to AI to cloud computing, cybersecurity, data engineering. I can keep on going on this. Um, I think at this stage, it will be great to introduce my colleague, Sergio, to give an overview on how does the life of a software engineer looks like at Fidelity? Thank you, Al. Uh, so I've been at, at uh, Fidelity for about four years now and have had a good chance to uh, look through some of the opportunities that are here and, and experience several um, different roles. Uh, so one of the biggest things that I like is there's a true full stack uh, development experience. Uh, I've gotten a chance to work from everything uh, to setting up the infrastructure, setting up uh, databases, uh, setting up virtual servers in the cloud environment um, to developing middle layer applications, front end applications, um, back end applications, and worked on uh, a wide variety of projects. Uh, some are greenfield, brand new, where you get a chance to design uh, every aspect of, of the architecture and, and the layers um, through, and also worked with legacy where you have to do maintenance work and, and make sure that um, the applications are meeting the current standards. Um, some of the, on the personal side, I, I do enjoy some of the uh, perks that they provide for uh, a charitable, uh, for a charitable community. We do have volunteer days where we get together and we go to a certain parts and, and clean up or we go build uh, computers for, uh, for schools. Um, they also, we also have a charitable program where your donations are being matched by Fidelity, which allows you to have a greater impact on your nonprofits of choice. Um, 
And we also have um, uh, another another matching program that's outside of Fidelity Charitable, where they provide you for uh, they provide you matching for particular initiatives such as uh, racial equality this year. As far as professional development, I do uh, enjoy having a, every Tuesday and being given as a learning day uh, and being provided a lot of resources to learn, uh, such as Udemy and um, can't, I can't remember the next one is, but there's a lot of resources available for us, for us to learn. Um, there's also a website where um, they have gigs that have been provided. Uh, certain technologists have ideas that they want to see implemented, but don't have the time to fully see it through. Uh, and organic teams form and start developing the idea and see it to completion, uh, making sure that it's implemented and, and released. Uh, also, I've use the uh, career coaching experiences where they have um, career coaches available to mentor you through whatever career questions you may have. And that has helped them, has that, that has helped me tremendously in growing my uh, career professionally. Um, we additionally have a growing open source team where we're looking for ways for Fidelity to contribute back to the community. Um, as well as looking for open source projects that uh, can help Fidelity grow. Uh, and finally, I, I have switched several roles and uh, Fidelity continues to encourage me to try different things. And that's a big part of why I got into technology in the first place. Um, I don't like working on the same thing over and over again and being able to feel encouraged to try different roles and different technologies and different areas um, keeps me engaged and, and keeps me learning uh, not only technology, but the business. Um, as far as my work-life balance, uh, I really enjoy the work-life balance that we have here in at Fidelity. Uh, I just, uh, I think Wes showed the paternity leave benefit that we have. I just uh, was able to make use of that. So I'm feeling refreshed after almost a month off. Um, my, my tribe lead keeps mentioning, um, uh, his motto is always to keep it cool. And Fidelity supports that by providing a lot of, uh, resources such as the pay time off. Um, we have had a lot of benefits that are not typical this year, but I've been able to utilize, which is, um, fitness reimbursements. Uh, so we can work out now that the gyms are closed and a lot of um, mental health resources uh, for the stress that this year has caused. So uh, that's, that's it for me and my experiences here. I'll send it over to Soma and she'll talk about her career experiences. Thank you, Sergio. So I would start with at some point in our lives, most of us had to find our own path our own way of doing something. Our sense of who we are within a relationship or a career path that makes sense for us. So good morning, everyone. My name is Suma Mishra. I'm very excited to be here among you all and looking forward to share my own experience. I always wanted a career for myself, which would be exciting, fast-paced and challenging. I joined Fidelity in the year of 2015 as a system analyst. My role of system analyst evolved during the course of time. I got exposure to different ways of working and thought process, such as a relentless focus on continuously trying to improve on everything we do as part of our job. Basically, our job is never done and our customers are expecting every day more and more from us. So there has been a constant encouragement to be a creative business thinker and be innovative in our role. And there is a continuous focus on reinvent all the things that we have been doing, either reinvent all of our existing processes or also push into areas that we haven't necessarily participated in. So which this gave me a very different turning point in my career because many people think that innovation equals technology, but it doesn't necessarily. Of course, we need technology to support innovation, but the core innovation may not be technology. And this is where, as I said, it triggered me to navigate more towards product management from a system analyst role. The product management gave me an opportunity to reinvent new products, which would provide a different way of meeting the needs in a new way to our customer. 
Then there is another concept which I got introduced to called vitality. And this is, this is a very key word which our senior leadership always uses. And the word vitality means doing new things or doing old things in a new way, which is more tightly coupled with our day-to-day -day deliverables. And that gave me an aspiration to look into the role of squad lead. So this role, the particular squad lead role, helped me in defining what needs to be done on a daily basis to keep ourselves fresh and be responsive to our customers daily. As one of the criteria uh, was mentioned as customer obsession, which is one of our leadership principle as well. So all this thought process of working new ways definitely redefined my career and made me to explore different areas by playing different roles. And that's how my career journey embarked in Fidelity. I'd also like to say here, it's not only the thought process of working or doing things in a new way, but there has always been a constant encouragement from senior leadership team on mobility. And the idea behind mobility is definitely to make people more productive and give them an opportunity to learn uh, businesses through different lenses that comes by playing different roles in the organization. So this has always been fostered and encouraged and for which we have a lot of career centers been established in our company. And that gives an opportunity to meet with senior managers from different parts of the organizations and to talk about your career plan. Now it could be and simply an informational gathering session or it's a great chance to bounce your ideas off to somebody who's more experienced and get their guidance. So when you get into a new role, there is often times when people don't know you, but it's a clean slide for you to create your own branding because sometimes people tend to presume about you and it tends to be either extreme or the other. But as any work environment, people has to show off their work, do their best and contribute to the business. So three things I definitely want to highlight is that shaped up my career is a culture of innovative ways of working thought process of Fidelity's leadership principles, huge encouragement on mobility, and there is always an opportunity for you to create your own, own branding and reinvent uh, where, wherever you want to go on. So, and then another aspect that I want, I want to highlight here is also there is a lot of uh, opportunity, membership opportunity, either in ERG, Employee Resource Group, or WITSIC. This is where you can create your own networking and you get to know that what are other areas that you can venture off. So the key mantra that I would like to mention here is always, always trust your instincts. Now, a lot of people will give you advice depending upon how well they know you, which could be valid or not valid. But at the end of the day, you know yourself best, what will work. So don't doubt yourself, stay looking ahead, stay committed and stay true to yourself. And this is a company which will definitely help in shaping up your career and what you're looking for. Everybody has a unique individualism. So with this, I'm turning to Al Ryan to talk about various openings we have. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hi, everybody. My name is Albert Ryan. I work within strategic sourcing within talent acquisitions of Fidelity Investments. And I sit here in our North Carolina work site. Um, as you can see here listed, we have plenty of opportunities listed for technologists across many different worksite locations, as Wes noted earlier, from Boston, Massachusetts, down here to Research Triangle in North Carolina, over to our Westlake, Texas office, even Salt Lake City is growing a presence within our cybersecurity division. Um, we have over 150 full-time career opportunities currently. And based on the conversations I'm having with my leadership, there are many, many more in pipeline. So we have, uh, like I said, an exuberant amount of different initiatives going on that you could easily align your skills to. Um, as a privately held organization, as Wes mentioned, Fidelity is able to really lean in during this time and not only help our customers strategically, but also help you, help you grow your career instead of staying stagnant during this pandemic. Um, as I mentioned, these are just a sampling of our opportunities. We see a plethora from associate level software engineers all the way up to architect and director leadership opportunities. Um, from some of the skills we look for, 
as Sergio mentioned, we are a full stack organization. We like to allow people to leverage all aspects of the, their experience, um, as well as staying up to date. As Raul mentioned, we are leaning into cloud deployments, uh, making sure our CI CD pipelines are as up to date and automated as possible. Um, everything from Angular 10 to you know, the newest version of Java, that is what we are seeing. Uh, outside of that, that's not listed here is some of the different business units. As Raul mentioned, we have many, many different technology organizations within Fidelity. Some of those could be our enterprise cloud computing. Some of those are our enterprise cybersecurity, uh, our center of applied technology, Fidelity Labs, where a lot of proof of concept work goes on. As Sergio mentioned, our charitable organization, which develops technology specifically for charity work. Um, and then also our digital assets, which is a very trending topic right now within cryptocurrency. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to find my information on LinkedIn. I'd be happy to share some of that with you and uh, you know, help you get into the right hiring manager's eyes. Um, I believe next what we have to go through is our q and I saw a few different questions pop up and I think Wes is gonna lead us through that. If you have any questions, please put that in the channel or feel free to raise your hand and we'll address your questions accordingly. Thank you again for attending. Thanks, Al. Looks like we've got a little bit of a variety of questions, some around um, policy and updates given some of the changes this year and some for the technologists and, and panelists. So we'll go through a couple of these. Um, one question that we got here, after the pandemic, will your working location policy be going to a blended model or optional fully remote versus fully office? What I can tell you is um, I think that's still undecided in some ways. So Fidelity is, is really big on culture, as you could hear from not just a technology and building working relationships, but from the employee resource groups, from the personal um, advantage you get from, from working in the office. At the same time, safety is our, our top priority right now. So not only are, is our timeline flexible on when we're actually going to go back to the office, but eventually we would want uh, people to be in the office. The groups can make a little bit of a decision there. As we know, most technology roles can be done at least portion remote. So I have heard some situations where maybe with tenure, depending on the group, there's a little bit more of a remote flexibility, but I think in all likelihood talking to, to most of my managers, and I think some of the leaders on here maybe would, would agree, feel free to chime in. But I think um, being able to, be here, interact, grow with each other, learn with each other is a really big part of fidelity in our culture. So uh, ideally back back into the office. Um, a second question here, Learning Tuesday. Sergio, I believe you talked a little bit about that or you mentioned that. Can we hear a little bit more detail and it can be um, from you, it could be from, from one of our leaders. What exactly is that? Is there a little bit of flexibility to learn? Just maybe a little bit more detail on, on what a Learning Tuesday is. Sure. Um, so for me, it's it's really meant uh, as eight hours a week of uh, professional development, right? Uh, so like I mentioned, uh, there's uh, some total, uh, which is an internal learning course that they have online courses and in-person uh, instructor-led courses. We have uh, access to uh, LinkedIn Learning. We have Pluralsight. Uh, we have just a variety. We have also a level up, we call it. It's an internal website where people can have sessions with, where people can just sign up and, and listen to them speak and, and teach whatever subject uh, they've chosen uh, to have people attend. Um, and there are no expectations as to uh, what kind of self-development you want to take. It doesn't have to be specifically related to your current role. Um, the, the only expectation is that you continue to grow and are satisfied with the, the work that you're doing. Yeah, so Sergio, if you, again, if I may, right? So one of the, the reason we created this one is, if you know, we all are busy working our day-to-day -day stuff. So we wanted to really carve out certain amount of time for associates' individual growth, and that's what these learning two days are for. As Sergio said, it's your time. Again, we, you could you can work with your manager to, to work through this stuff, but there are no real expectations and then or tests or anything like that. The other thing also aspect I want to throw it out is technology is changing rapidly, right? So the technology we have right now in three years down the road is going to change. What we're also working on is something called a skills framework, wherein we develop saying that these are the skills that you have. 
this is where we wanted to go. And then these learning days will help you enable to get that staff on it. So that's another aspect of the learning Tuesdays too. Awesome, appreciate that perspective. Um, another question here, what is the most important value you look for when hiring candidates? Uh, Soma, maybe, maybe that's a good question for you. Sure, yeah. So again, the answer is very simple. Um, it's not something definitely the skill set would need to match uh, the ask of the job requirement, the job description. But in terms of the value, it's more you bring your own individualism to the office. What is that you're passionate about? What is that is motivating? So make sure that you're up to date with the technology or the work, and then bring your innovative skills to the work. Bring something uh, which which has been working or which has not been working and look into how do we reinvent those existing process so that we will be able to meet our customer needs. As I said, vitality is one of the key facts, which we are going back and looking into many of our systems because things have been working very differently, even yesterday. When I come into work today, I see things in a different lens. So all those kind of perspectives, the attitude, how we want to make our customers happy because they are the one who are relying on us is take our customers requirement very seriously on a personal note and then think through how well you can best serve it. Awesome. That Rao, anything you'd like to add there? No, that was great. That was great. Anything else any panels would like to add? No, I think Asoma called it well. Again, we are as as again West mentioned previously that we have multiple BUs. The one we all align on is our own customer. It's it's the customer obsession on it. So bring in your ideas, as you said, your innovative hat to help our customers. That's what it unites. We all get united on. Awesome. Our next question up here, does Fidelity hire full-time and contract opportunities? Al, I will let you take that one. Absolutely. Um, as Rao has mentioned, all of our business units work independently from one another, but also shoulder to shoulder with each other to support our customers. And some of the ways we hire definitely will change between the business units. We hire full-time opportunities. On the other end of the spectrum, we hire individual contract roles. And in between, we have contract to hire opportunities. It really depends um, as the team is growing, what the initiative look like, how that comes through HR is how it is approved. But we have, like I mentioned earlier, over 150 full-time positions. We also have a whole team dedicated to our contract work, uh, Fidelity Talent Source. And so sometimes in my conversations, if I have a candidate who is interested only in contract work, then I'll work with my peers within Fidelity Talent Source to help find them a home there. Um, on the flip side, they do the same for me. And if someone's only seeking full-time engagements, then that's when I'll step in and help them. So we do hire an all different plethora of opportunities. Uh, and something I wanted to go back to, Wes, you mentioned the remote work from that first question. I wanted to let everyone know on the panel that I was actually hired in the middle of this pandemic and the onboarding was extremely smooth. I had my peers help me ramp up and get to a successful level so that I can impact the business. Um, so that's something else that I think was top of mind when I was looking for a job is how am I going to not only engage with my peers virtually, but also provide value to them. And something that I really was uh, astounded by was Fidelity's, I guess you could say, uh, determination to make sure that I was successful virtually. So, uh, yeah, I think that kind of answers the question there. Awesome. Appreciate that. Uh, quick question we got, does Fidelity sponsor employees that are on a work visa currently? The answer to that is yes, we definitely do. Um, we got for the technologist, another question here, how has working remote been so far from a technology perspective? Um, Sergio, maybe get your, get your opinion on that one. Uh, at first it was a bit of a, a challenge just cause, um, I'm used to having my peers, uh, that, that sitting next to me and being able to just turn around and, and speak to them. Um, but now it's been, uh, I'm actually quite comfortable. Uh, we received a, a stipend to make sure that our home office environment was, uh, up to par, you know, and, and, uh, we have technologies, um, available for us to work in a very efficient way asynchronously. Uh, so I'm able to send out emails or IMs or um, 
maybe we have a, a new technology, uh, Yammer, which is more of a social platform just to get that social interaction that working from home um, kind of takes away. So it, it has evolved quite nicely and um, I'm able to do my, my job efficiently at home. And uh, personally, I like to have some quiet space whenever I'm you know, deep into a, a particular problem. So, you know, uh, just being able to put on my headphones and, and um, code for an hour and a half straight without uh, really any interruptions, it's, it's been pretty nice. I could tell you from a talent acquisition perspective, you know, we definitely have picked up the Zoom meetings and we've stayed connected that way. So we uh, haven't really missed out on too much, but a similar experience on my end, uh, working virtually calls and, and video chatting with candidates as much as possible, meeting with managers to talk about open roles and partnering with Al um, from a talent sourcing perspective it has been, um, I think, just as smooth even working virtually from, from talent acquisition. We have a couple of questions that are a little more specific towards getting connected about a certain opportunity or, or something like that. What I'll recommend just for, for a couple of those as a whole if you want to reach out to Al Ryan, um, feel free to maybe LinkedIn message myself as well. Um, the ideal situation, I think, would be get connected with somebody on our talent acquisition or strategic sourcing team. So we could have an individual conversation, talk about your goals, interests, what uh, would be maybe most relevant within Fidelity, and then share those opportunities with you. Um, Everybody can also jump by our more. booth, too, in the That's exhibit good. hall, Wes, um, if you want to share oh. that, too. Thanks, Ashley. Yeah. We, we had one more location question I wanted to just address really quick. Are you hiring remotely for other locations at this time, or would it be required to move to that location? Somewhat similar to our question, but I guess a little different here that, that maybe I didn't mention before. Sometimes our groups are working in multiple locations, so you could have a squad or a software engineering team that might have a few associates in our Boston office, as well as our North Carolina office, as well as our Texas office. So I would always say, um, you know, shoot your shot. As they, they say, you could put the application in, see if you can get connected with someone. There might be some flexibility based on where the team is located um, as to what location might be relevant. But eventually, once again, when it is safe to do so, we would ideally like people to be able to go into the office. Let's see what other questions. Got a question around how the organization is governed and can others move into leadership positions? I would maybe take this question, I'm, I'm gonna probably throw this to either Rao or, or Soma, maybe a little bit more about how you went um, into your leadership role would maybe be a good way to approach that. Soma, I see you unmuted real quick. So maybe you wanna jump on this one. Sure, this is, this is one of the best questions. Uh, yeah, Rao, you can jump in as well, but I'll start with um, every individual is a leader. No matter where, where you are in the, in the organization, you are a leader. You are coming every day to work with your leadership qualities and attributes and then take our customers very seriously and personally. So there has been a tremendous opportunity in this organization, as I said, I mean, starting whether irrespective of which grade or where you are in a squad, you are a leader. Now, there are various leadership principles, as I said, I mean, innovation is one of the aspect. The second thing is you own the outcome. If you see there is an opportunity for you to prove yourself or do things differently, take it up, step up, show the leadership attitude, and then move on. Create your own branding. Your work should speak for yourself. And that's where you will get recognized. And trust me, as I said, trust your own instincts, never doubt yourself. Always stay alert, stay committed to your your work, and you will definitely reach where you want to be in your career. So Rao, anything you want yeah. to add here? Thank you so much. You covered it very well. So um, again, sky is the limit. We are an agile shop. Again, we believe in servant leadership. So um, everybody's a leader. Um, and then take the white spaces and excel. I'm a true example myself, like 95. I was a software engineer, and then I grew through the ranks at Fidelity. We focus a lot on vitality. I know Soma covered this stuff earlier. There are multiple BUs, and then you could just go work from one BU to another. It is totally different kind of an experience on it. And then 
All of these jobs are posted internally. You, again, you have the, all these networking sessions that you could partner through it. So there are so many opportunities um, that you could excel, go from technology to business, business to technology, again, lateral as well as um, a lateral perspective too. So a ton of opportunities. And being on the other end of the spectrum, obviously Soma and Rao have achieved the, the climbing the ladder, so to speak, with being at Fidelity for less than six months within my first week. I could see that the ownership mindset was extremely um, impactful. And that's something that I've seen over the last few months, as Sonia put it, you have to own your, your work and really work hard and prove yourself. And that's exactly how you can kind of have your voice heard. Um, we also have a career opportunity center where you can go in and set up meetings where you talk with other leaders and just gain insight on how they did their, their background, you know, how they moved from within business units, how they achieved that upward mobility. So that's a whole different category that you can set up 20 to 45 minute conversations with other senior leadership and seek to understand their story and how it can impact you. Awesome, thanks everyone. Any uh, last minute questions here? Feel free to type some of those in. I think we are pretty much through them at this point. Yeah, and we're wrapping up on time too, Wes. If, if anybody has specific um, questions they didn't get the chance to, to ask in this particular forum or they wanted to connect with a, a technologist individually too, um, we are in the exhibit hall. Um, we have a ton of information on our booth that will link you to our jobs page. We also have some information on some of those ERGs and, and SIGs, the special interest groups, if those are something that interests you as well and, and are important to um, our culture and you want to see what that's like, um, please take a, a visit over to the booth as well. Um, you can chat with individuals while you're at the booth. Um, it also will link you to the ability to join our talent network. Um, if you join the talent network, if you don't see a job that fits your particular skill set right this second, um, it would be good to um, join that network and you're alerted when, when jobs do come around as well as other um, important areas for um, your career growth and what's happening on, happening at Fidelity. So, um, oh, We did have one final um, question around releases. Does, does anybody want to jump that one real quick um, while we still have another two minutes? Yeah, maybe I can chime in here. So again, releases, uh, we are working in a very uh, dynamic and uh, uh, versatile environment. Squad releases are very continuous. So depending on how well, what we have planned in our given sprint and what we are doing is we definitely do not want to get into a big bank release like every four months or three months and then do a big release, but rather take an incremental approach. So it's a continuous integration, continuous development that we kind of foster in our release culture. And it is, our sprints are two weeks. So the releases could be every one or two weeks or two to three weeks maximum. And it's an incremental approach. So if you are released increment one, the next sprint would focus on adding the increment two so that both increment one and two will give a clear and holistic picture to our customers to be able to leverage our product. Thank you, Selma. That's a, that's a, a great answer. And I, I know that that can often prompt some more questions about how things are done um, more operationally. So again, if you want to connect on those, please visit our booth um, and connect with some of the technologists over there. And, and you're welcome to have those conversations in more detail. Um, but we uh, wanted to make sure that we thanked you for attending this session as well as our panelists. Um, I could not think of a, a better collective set of minds to walk us through what Fidelity um, does on a day-to-day -day basis and um, especially our leadership principles. I think that um, the, the leaders on this call in particular have embodied those and shown them through their career. So um, they, they speak them from experience, not just from a slide. So please know that. Um, we are happy to talk to anybody about any other opportunities that they may be interested in at Fidelity. We are thrilled that you joined us today. And if there's anything else um, we can do, whether it's the benefits questions, anything around the pandemic and how we're working, jump over to the booth and connect with us there, okay? All right. Thank you, everybody, for attending. We are wrapping up on time, which I'm super happy about. <laughs> well done, everybody. We covered a lot of content in that space. Um, thank you for joining us. Enjoy the rest of All Things Open. We do have some other speakers from Fidelity. So if you haven't had the chance to check out their presentations, please um, look up the calendar and, and go join those as well.